Hello, I'm Dr. Ann Wells from the American Dental Education Association. I've been involved in dental school admissions for many years as both a dental school admissions dean and now here at IDEA. Application to dental school is very competitive. I've been asked to talk to you about ways you can make your application stand out. Deciding when and where to apply is fundamental to having a top-notch application. Two great resources are the IDEA Official Guide to Dental Schools and the GoDental.org website. Published annually, the IDEA Official Guide to Dental Schools is the most up-to-date resource that provides lots of facts and figures about dental schools, as well as provides profiles about each U.S. and Canadian dental school. The Official Guide to Dental Schools may be ordered at the IDEA.org website. The cost is $35. An ebook version of the official guide will be made available shortly. Watch for upcoming announcements. Another great resource is the GoDental.org website, which you've probably already checked out. Finally, if your school has a health professions advisor, I encourage you to meet and talk with him or her. Your advisor can guide you through coursework that will prepare you for the rigors of dental school and also help you explore the dental schools that might be the best fit for you. Applying to dental schools that are a good fit schools that you've looked into is important to making your application stand out. Admission to dental school really is more than just grades and test scores. Most dental schools have adopted a holistic approach to dental school admissions. We just talked about fit when you're making decisions about where to apply. Each dental school has a state admission. For example, some dental school missions are to provide graduate dentists with a strong commitment for public service some to provide future oral health researchers, some to provide practitioners for specific states or to underserved areas, or any possible assortment of missions and combination of missions. The set of applicants dental schools opt to pursue are likely to be those who appear to address the mission of the dental school and the admissions committee. Beyond that, when schools are reviewing your application, they're looking at the complete you, while metrics which are grades and test scores, are important predictors of future academic performance, many other factors are at play as well. We've categorized those factors into experiences and attributes. So let's explore these sets of factors in evaluating applicants. Metrics are probably the most, metrics are probably the you are most familiar with. They consist primarily of your grade point averages and DAT scores. Experiences, we sometimes refer to as the road travel. That is, your personal background and experiences and how they've shaped the person you are today. They can include your educational background, jobs you've held, military experience, research experience, anything that you've done to shape your interest in dentistry. Attributes include particular skills and abilities you have. For example, language skills. Are you fluent in languages other than English? Or are you able to demonstrate manual dexterity or eye-hand coordination through any activities like auto mechanics, playing musical instruments, drawing, sculpting? They can also include your demographic background as reflected, for example, in your potential to, re in your potential to provide care in an underserved area or perhaps your residence in a particular state. So, how do I begin to tell the story about myself in the IDEA ADSES application? A great place to start is to assemble a resume, which you may already be doing. Be sure to include honors and awards, work experience, volunteer activities, leadership initiatives, and dentistry-specific activities. But more than just listing those accomplishments, reflect on how they have shaped who you are and how they've helped prepare you for the path ahead. Think about and write down what you've learned from your accomplishments. Consider how you can tell your story, not only by list, listing these things in your application, but by showing how they've shaped you. Among desirable attributes, dental schools are looking for students who are passionate about the profession, who can successfully manage multiple priorities, are critical thinkers, and who've demonstrated that they really care about people and have the potential to provide ethical and professional care. At the same time, start thinking about who to ask to write letters of evaluation on your behalf. Select evaluators who can do more than simply state that you're a good student because you earned a good, good grade in their class. Finally, be honest in all aspects of the application process. 
If you're just beginning your college career, keep in mind that your behavior during your college years can really reflect on the rest of your life. Check out the IDEA ADSAS Applicant Code of Conduct in the application. It addresses truthfulness in the information you provide in the application, as well as your behavior and your conduct throughout the admissions process. In particular, the IDEA ADSAS applications ask questions about any incidents that involve academic dishonesty, unethical conduct, and criminal charges. You're expected to answer these questions honestly. Doing so will not automatically disqualify you for admission. Many schools realize that students can learn from unfortunate experiences, but they will want to discuss that with you. The last thing you want to do, however, is not disclose an incident that is later uncovered. Doing that will be a surefire way of disqualifying you for admission. Most dental schools now conduct criminal background checks on admitted students, and many schools also conduct dis student disciplinary checks, requesting verification from colleges and universities previously attended of any academic or behavioral incidents. So here are a few tips to a successful application. First of all, apply early. The IDEA ADSAS application opens each year around June 1st. This year, it's Monday, June 3rd. Check the deadlines for the schools you're considering and apply well in advance of those deadlines. Keep in mind that many dental schools begin interviewing candidates as early as August and that all dental schools begin accepting students on or around December 1st. Apply to more than one school. Putting all your eggs in one basket just isn't a good idea. The average IDEA ADSAS applicant selects about 10 dental schools. Now, I'm not telling you that you need to apply to 10 or more schools. Remember, do your research and apply to schools that seem to be a good fit for you, but certainly apply to more than one. For the past few years, there have been more than 12,000 applicants to dental school each year, and there are about 5,000 positions available. And a quick word for reapplicants. Because dental school is so competitive, some well-qualified applicants may not receive offers of admission. If reapplying, do so early. If you applied to ADSAS in the last cycle, there's a special process that moves forward the coursework you've already completed, as well as other aspects of your application. You'll be required to submit a new essay and new letters of recommendation. I say this in capital letters. When reapplying, stress what you have done to make yourself an even more well-qualified applicant. If you don't know how to do that or what that would be, talk with your advisor, and or the admissions staff at some of the dental schools that you would like to attend. Before I conclude this presentation, I decided to insert a few FAQs. These are really frequently asked questions that both IDEA ADSAS receives and that dental school admissions offices receive. So here we go. The first one is, I recently decided that I wanted to apply to dental school. I have the course prerequisites. But will I be at a disadvantage since I haven't been planning to apply to dental school all along? Well, the answer is that while well, some people applying to dental school knew they wanted to study dentistry when they started college, many make the decision to attend dental school either during college or even after they've graduated from college. When you make the decision is not nearly as important as what you've done to confirm your interest in the profession of dentistry. Admissions offices want assurance that your decision to attend dental school is a well thought out decision that you've carefully considered, regardless of the time when you made the decision. Next question. You say to submit my application early, but how early is early and how late is late? Generally, submitting your application in the summer is considered optimal, though not mandatory. June 3rd, 2013, again, is the date that the IDEA ADSAS application open, opens this year. And you can submit your application, and that is the date that you can submit your application for consideration for the 2014 class. It takes several weeks to process your application after it's been submitted. Dental schools start receiving ADSAS applications in late June. Some schools begin reviewing applications immediately. Other schools begin reviewing applications later in the summer and even into the early fall. It's to your advantage that dental schools have, their have your application as they begin to set up interview dates, which begin as early as August for some schools and October for others. Deadline dates for application submission vary by school. Uh, again, consult the ADSAS application for the deadline dates of the schools you wish to apply to. 
And by deadline date, that's the date, last date that you can submit your IDEA ADSS application in order for it to be forwarded to the school that you have selected. And then keep these dates in mind. Remember that dental schools can begin extending offers of admission on December 2, 2013. Some schools continue to accept applications submitted as late as February 1, 2014, but will have fewer open positions at that time to consider you for. Should I, submit, should I delay submitting my IDEA ADSAS application until after I have taken the DAT? IDEA ADSAS processes your application, assuming that it is otherwise completed, whether you've taken your DAT or not. If we receive your, app, your DAT scores after your application has been sent to the dental schools you've applied to, those scores will be transmitted to the schools within a, re, within a week of receipt by IDEA ADSAS. Some dental schools do not consider your application complete and will not review your application until they've received your DAT scores. Other schools will review your application, but not necessarily make a decision about next steps until they've seen your DAT scores. The decision is yours. You might want to discuss further with your pre-dental advisor about the timing of your DAT test and submitting your ADSAS application. I may not want to apply to dental school straight out of undergraduate. Will my application be jeopardized if I decide to apply to dental school after I graduate? Generally, many dental schools do not discourage students from taking some time off after graduation before applying to dental school. When you do apply, be sure to address how this time off has benefited you as a person, made you more mature, and made you more well prepared to apply to dental school. I would not discourage you at all. So thanks for listening to this presentation. I'll be available to chat with you for a few more minutes. Please submit any other questions that you have, and I'll be glad to try to answer them as well. Thank you very much.